Excerpt from Lisa Robinson's autobiography. On February 23, 1988, I went to Kansas City for the opening night of Michael's Bad Tour. His manager, Frank Dilio, arranged for me to visit Michael's suite at the Weston Crown Hotel after the show alone. There were no handlers present, no family members, no animal companions, no child companions, no bodyguards. Unusual for a Jackson visitation. For Kansas City, his suite was lavish, the size of a small apartment. But as I entered, led in by a security guard who waited outside the door, Michael was nowhere to be seen. Michael, I called, as I walked around. After a few minutes I heard giggling from behind the door. <laughs> the 29-year-old Michael Jackson was playing hide and seek. Finally, he appeared, wearing black trousers and a bright red shirt. His semi-straightened hair pulled back into a loose ponytail with a few strands falling over his face. He hugged me. He was taller than I remembered, taller than he appeared in photos. And while his giggle continued, <laughs> I remember thinking at the same time that his hug was a hug of a man, not a boy. There was nothing sexual about it. It was just strong. Then he pulled back, looked at me and said in the lower more quote unquote normal of the two voices he could produce at will. What is that smell? What's that perfume? I know that smell. I laughed and said, Oh Michael you don't know this perfume. It's an old drag queen perfume from the 1950s. At the words drag queen, he started giggling and repeated it. Drag queen? Ha 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 ha. No. I know it. It's jungle gardenia, right? I was taken aback. How could he know that? I told him that the only people who ever recognized this perfume were Brian Ferry and Duran Durant's Nick Rhodes. Well, I said, I guess you are not as Lala as they say you are. The words Lala cracked him up. And he repeated, Lala, ha 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 ha. A week later, I sent him a case of 24 bottles of jungle gardenia to his hotel suite at New York's Helmsley Palace. And on March 2nd, I stood backstage in the wings at the Grammy Awards live telecast in Radio City Music Hall. While Michael waited with a gospel group about to perform, Man in the Mirror, looking at me, he whispered, Thanks for the smells. I'm wearing it now.